Doctor! We're here! It's rare of you to bring a guest here, Izuna. What is he? A bird? A gear? Indeed. But you need to make a correction. I'm a dragon, not a bird. Izuna, what the hell? Chill, chill! They're a harmless group of gears, don't you know? And this is the genius in using magic at- It's rare to find harmless gears. This is the last resort for those unlucky gears that gained self-consciousness when the curse of justice was broken. Living on this deserted island, away from the public's eye, avoids any complications with humans. Don't you see it? With a bird as their leader, huh? That's Dragon! Who is this rude monkey? What about the humanoids? They were here, but humanoids are never satisfied. They multiply like rabbits and eat up possibilities through mutual destruction. A low-grade species they are. They all left. <laughs> Some paradise. There are no humanoids, after all. But true, it's not as much of a paradise as it looks. What do you mean? Valentine's army. They suddenly appear out of nowhere and terminate any gears they come across. You're talking about the recent disappearance of Gears, right? We are also being targeted. But it looks like you didn't know about that. Izuna, what's the reason behind bringing this monkey here? The king was sealed with a magic spell. I tried touching it, but I couldn't do anything against the encrypted cord, you know? The king? Kai Kisk? Leave him be. For the scale of conspiracy we're dealing with here, he's a cheap topic. Conspiracy? Did I hear that right? Bastard, what do you know? You're rather rude for someone who's asking me a favor. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm in a rush. You're coming with me, chicken man, whether you like it or not. If you want me to help, you need a new attitude. And again, I am a dragon. What a drag. There's a battle to be won. Mission Warning. start. Yes. Noticed, but servants have soldier types, you know. Soldier types? The classes that represent the characteristics of servants? Yep. There's the standard fair melee unit, the armored unit that excels in combat, and the agile mobile unit. Each of these three types of soldiers has strong points and weak points. The melee unit is stronger than the mobile unit, the armored unit is stronger than the melee unit, and the mobile unit trumps the armored one. In other words, it's a three-way standoff. So check up on the servants the doctor sends out. If you select the right ones, you should be able to counter them, you know. <laughs> Do you think that thin veneer of knowledge will help him? At any rate, Yuzuna, why did you bring such a rude man here? What makes you think I will cooperate with the likes of him? Well, we started off on the wrong foot, but uh, he's exactly what you asked for, yeah? His name is Sol. He's the scientist that went by the name of... Frederick a long time ago. What? This is the man? So I see. <laughs> you certainly can't judge a book by its cover. In that case, you have my consent. Very well. Let us see if you have what it takes to know the conspiracy. Try to defeat me. Quit your yapping. <laughs> Shut 
Master Ghost under attack. It's time. I've got a bad feeling about this. It's time. It's time. What? What? It's time. But it looks like you can hold your own. I want you to tell me something. What drives you to risk your life so much? 
Is it loyalty or patriotism? Or does it hurt your pride to speak with a beast like me? The King's time is short. That boy may be the world's last line of defense. If he dies and if something happens, the people will lose their leader and fall into a state of panic. It'll be the Crusades all over again. Such a typical and boring answer, but something interests me. What did you mean by, if something happens? Who knows? That something is what Valentine has planned. You are mistaken. You refer to Valentine as if she's a balloon ready to burst. But her plans alone can't be compared to a great war like the Crusades. What are you saying? You're worried, aren't you? You're worried that that man is threatening the world once again. Just who the hell are you? Call me Dr. Paradigm. I may sound foolish for saying this, but I'm a fan of your upbringing. Huh? Well... <laughs> <laughs> 
Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! What a pain in the ass. Punch 
Master Ghost inside. Here's the leader. Master Ghost inside. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. Well, I'm busted. busted. Sight. Good. Keep it up. Strategy. Into this pathetic strategy, you get on my nerves. I'll be brief. If you're the scientist from 100 years ago, you can guess the origin of magic, can't you, Frederick? Magic. A scientific impossibility. A power close to omnipotence. All of it is information of an unknown origin. However, there was no room to question that kind of innovative resource. At that time, scholars who were in a precarious position between technological progress and environmental ethics jumped on it like moths to a flame. Like me, and that man too. And as we studied this energy that shouldn't exist in this world, a theory arose. That is the backyard, a superior dimension. Roughly put, it's a world that can rewrite the rules of this universe in any way it wants. Good. Now the main question. What if we developed a program where magic could gain access and enter the backyard? Impossible. By the time magic reached scientists' hands, only the surface level was accessible. Its inner framework was not. That's where the past you don't know comes in. The gear cells. You are aware that the cells constituting us gears are created from the applied technology of magic, right? However, the gear cells that that man completed contained unknown technologies that you yourself said were impossible. But if we assume that's true, it's possible that humanity can enter the backyard. <sighs> then Valentine, she's destroying any footholds. Yes. In other words, the disassembly of gears is a sublimation. But what will that accomplish? If she can freely access the backyard, then she can also mess with the world's fate. She'd be able to do whatever she wants. Just because you can get into the backyard doesn't mean that you can do things right away. In that case, Valentine is probably sublimating gears to prevent others from trespassing so that she can do something. How did you come to that conclusion? I was only successful once, but I was able to get a glimpse of the backyard. There, I confirmed that an artificial isolated space was created. What? That quarantine space was arranged in a way that isolates the area that constitutes the present world from the outside. I named that space the Cube. A man-made space within the backyard? That's hard to believe. Its creator is probably that man. The Gear Maker. I don't blame you for being surprised. A drop of water becomes a drop of water only when it obtains a location where it can actually trickle. And when that drop of water is thrown into the sea, there is nothing left to identify that drop, nor is there a method to restore it to its former shape. Mankind can be seen as a drop of water in the backyard. If a human did create the cube, then he is the only one who could make the impossible possible. No doubt. 
The problem is, what is that man trying to do with the cube? If he can hack into the backyard's cord, he can change the present world in any way he wants. It will probably be easy for him to cause an unprecedented disaster. So that something is that man's plot. And he's using Valentine for that cause. I'm afraid so. That's why, in order to figure everything out, I was interested in the one who had ties to that man. But I never imagined that Izuna would bring you before me in this manner. I see. I thought it was strange for him to be Kai's messenger. My apologies. I meant for it to be short, but it took too long. Hey, we have pursuers! <sighs> what a pain in the ass. Be careful, Frederick. They seem to have new soldier types. Mission complete.